about it, y'all. Um, right now, uh, I'm about to hop into this video, man. Five scary videos you should watch alone. Um, I'm not alone. I got cuz here with me, man. Y'all go over there and subscribe to his channel, man. He dropping a whole bunch of shit over there. Lit shit. Um, pranks, vlogs, uh, challenges, move bangs, all that shit. Um, go tune in over there, man. Subscribe to my channel, man. It's Cap Ass Theater. Um, subscribe to Sir Spooks, man. This video is by Sir Spooks, if I didn't say that already. Um, I already lit up my fucking bowl, but I got fucking, you know, brand new bowl. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a name for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to name it within the next day or so. Uh, but I got that um, wet and cake in here, man. I already sparked it up. I got some wet and cake in here. I'll do a fresh bowl pack for y'all, you know what I mean, eventually before this bowl get too, too raised up. Um, but yeah, man, let me go ahead and hop into it. Don't waste some time. Hello, everyone. My name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos you should watch alone. If you want to achieve the optimal level of nightmare fuel. So, let's begin. When you sign up to be working as a night guard at a building, you inevitably prepare yourself to stand around for long hours at a time, right. keeping watch of the place and making sure that nothing wrong happens during your shift. Right. But even still, most night guards would never expect to encounter what this man did while working the night shift at an undisclosed university. What happened? This video was published over on my very own Sir Spook subreddit, an excellent source for all things horror and paranormal, by user named Chaos Magic, and was filmed in Barranquilla, Colombia. In the short seven second clip, we look at what appears to be some sort of a wall, while crickets and other birds chirp outside. But what starts off as a normal, innocent video turns into something creepy, Take a look at this. Although the figure seen in the video can be identified for certain, it appears to be some sort of gangly witch-like creature. What's amazing is that the night guard filming doesn't react too much upon seeing the figure. Right. The video simply ends as soon as the figure makes an appearance. So we can only imagine what may have happened next. Was this a real witch or was it nothing more than a hoax? Either way, if it was authentic, then let's just hope that this night guard got out of there safely and didn't get chased by this bizarre figure. We Do It Outdoors is a fairly well-known YouTube channel that is best known for their videos on potential Bigfoot sightings, as well as explorations of various interesting forests from different locations. It's a great source for outdoor lovers as well as horror lovers. And this is perhaps best demonstrated in a video published to their channel on December 27th, 2020, in which the channel owner explores a forest located in Salt Fork, Ohio. Nice. At the start of the video, the uploader shows off some bizarre and eerie footprints that have been left in the snow, which indicate that someone, or rather something, has been in the area recently. Guys, check this out. I finally... Found some footprints in the snow. This is my boot print right here. And look at this monster print. Look at them toes. You can see how deep down that heel goes. Look at that thing. Compared to my foot. And there is tracks everywhere. They go all the way down through here. Look at the size of these things. They go all the way back through there. They go on up in that trail. This one is definitely... A major crossing through here. They've got a path that goes all the way down back into there and all the way around to that side. So I see these tracks and I stop right here. This is my the very first print I saw. I was walking right beside it. I happened to glance down. I just saw all these prints and you know I've been seeing you know, there's deer and rabbit tracks everywhere. Look at all these things. 
go all the way up in here. Look, you can see, you can see the toes. Look at the size. My fault, I ain't saying that, y'all. I'm just like, trying boom. to. Look at that monster foot. Damn. Then, just a couple of minutes later, the man filming comes to a stop when you suddenly hear something scary in the distance. Right. Oh, I'm shaking so bad again. Hard to keep the camera still. Oh, oh, hell did no. you hear it? Oh, chill. Right back in there. <laughs> it's right back. Try to zoom it in a little bit and see. I can't see something moving here. Oh, man, you can hear that perfect. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. This is creepy out here by myself. I'm probably three miles away from my truck. Out in the middle of Salt Fork. Unfortunately, nothing else of extreme importance happens later on in the video. But those two pieces of evidence are enough for some to consider the possibility of Bigfoot. And it's not hard to see why. The footprints at the start of the footage looked fairly big, and the growling that could be heard later sounded like that of an animal of some sort. But what do you think? Was this a Bigfoot sighting captured on camera? Was it just a person? Let me know in the comments. Devil's Hour Productions has been featured on my channel a number of times in the past, right. and it's for good reason. Their content is almost always filled with tons of creepy footage to frighten even the most hardened skeptics. This video is definitely no exception either. The footage in question was recorded back in July of 2013 and follows the crew as they venture out to the William Heath Davis house, located in San Diego, California. As you'll soon see, it turns out to be one of the creepiest locations in the United States that you can explore. At around the seven minute mark, in a certain area of the house, you can hear what appears to be some sort of female voice making a humming sound. Listen to this chilling piece of audio. We were just about to start our investigation when we heard this disembodied voice of a girl humming. Listen closely. perhaps one of the scariest things you'll see in quite some time. One of the crew members begins to feel a strong paranormal presence right near him, and it's clear that he is quickly becoming unsettled by the situation. Okay. What happens next can only be described as truly shocking. Mm -mm. No, nope. 
Can't fuck with it. Getting knocked out by a paranormal spirit Can't fuck would be with enough it. for most people to flee the scene immediately after reawakening. But amazingly, the folks at Devil's Hour Productions press on. Right. A man in the crew named Dante eventually stops and takes a couple of photos in a dark and eerie section of the house. And what turns up in the photographs are some large shadows, which seem to be looming over certain areas of the walls and the doors. And Dante caught these three shadow images throughout the night. Fuck. Dante took 73 Kill. photos with this camera, and only three of these photos had these shadow masks. Kill. Is this a message from look. something evil? I can't look at it. Mocking bro. the Trinity? Well, I can tell you one thing. I don't know, bro. This isn't any of our shadows, because there is no light source that could cast our shadows during the time these photos were taken. Right. We do our investigations in total darkness. Right. There is no good reason for these shadows to be in our photos. I agree. The investigators insist that these are not their shadows and say that there is no light source nearby that could cause their shadows to be projected onto the walls. That's crazy. In fact, there shouldn't be any shadows projected on the walls. But miraculously, there is. That's crazy. Otherworldly, maybe. I'll let you be the judge. Doing laundry is one of the most simplistic and ordinary tasks that a person does in their house on a frequent basis. You wash your clothes, dry them, and when they're done, you put them away. Nothing creepy could happen there, right? Well, not necessarily. This video yes. uploaded to the subreddit Ghost by user named Jeffrango states that he was just about to go check on his laundry when something caught his eye and creeped him out. Right. Let's take a look and see what it is. Alright. Um. I don't really... The uploader states that he saw something moving in the corner of his eye and thought that it was his cat, but was probably freaked right out when he saw that it was none other than his chair rocking back and forth. I can't all fuck by with it. I can't Just a do few it. seconds later, the chair stops moving completely and things go back oh, to normal. Oh, that's crazy. But even though this video ends with the chair's movements coming to a halt, right. it makes you wonder what caused this to happen in the first place. Yeah, bro, that shit looks scary. Was that ghost looks... sitting in the chair and rocking it? Was this a clever setup? Or is something else at play here? That, that house sure looks like it would be haunted or spotty. It just looks weird. No, bro. I don't fuck with it. Number one. Last one, y'all. Subscribe to the channel, man. This last entry comes to us from the aforementioned Sir Spook subreddit again, with this clip being uploaded by user named Rami Code 0820 that is sure to chill you to the bone. Rami explains, quote, I just purchased a camera due to having a lot of paranormal activity in my house. I see. This video is of me sleeping with my TV on due to not being able to sleep in the dark in this house, mm. end quote. Right. He then goes on to say that at the time this following video was recorded, he was the only person in the house. So, without further delay, that let's room looks weird, bro. That that room look weird. Did I miss something? What was that? What is that? I'm hearing shit. The first creepy thing that happens during the night is one that you may have missed. Did I see one? Around the 30 second mark, it appears that Rami had an unexpected visitor outside his doorway. Oh my Did god. Did you see it? No. Take a look again. Oh shit. Oh shit. The same mystic ghost figure appears around 40 seconds later. Right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bruh, why this nigga is asleep? 
but the scariest thing by far happens at 1 minute and 40 seconds. Watch this. And let me just point this out real quick. Um, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll fast forward it back. But this is, let me just point this out. I, I want to live by myself, you know what I'm saying? But there's going to be a point in time where I'm, I'm not going to want to be alone at all. You know what I'm saying? I could be um, like if, like a, a couple weeks. I'd be like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But actually living in my own house by myself, I don't have no one with me. On a daily basis, I have nobody with me. And I have no pets or nothing, no, nothing going on, no type of fun, nothing, nothing to just to just bring some type of energy. It's just me in the house. There's no way. There's no fucking way because I got to deal with shit like that if it were to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm speaking from a hypothetical, you know, if, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking from, you know, what if, you know, um, uh, uh, what is it? Hypothetical. You know what I mean? I'm hypothetically uh, speaking and shit like that. So. It's like, um, it's just, I couldn't do it. Not for too long. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd be, even if shit ain't happening, I start getting paranoid and be, I start thinking that shit is happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So shit won't even be happening. I would just think some shit is happening because I've been in that bitch for too long by myself. I don't see how he do it. I don't know if he got a pet or anything. But like I said, that room looked kind of, no, nah, fuck that. But the scary shit look old fashioned. Like, look at his bed. Is that an old fashioned bed Watch frame? This. Headboard. That's an old. I missed it. Whereas the previous two sightings were a bit blurry and hard to make out. Right. This final sighting of the ghostly apparition appears clear as day. It looks as though a ghostly person is walking by right outside the uploader's oh door. And if it is indeed a paranormal God. entity, it would certainly explain why bro, he's been experiencing that, strange bro. things going on around no, his house. Bro, fuck that. Let's just hope that the uploader gets to the bottom of this fuck situation that. so he can get back to living a peaceful Let's life. Let's move on, bro. Please. That was five scary videos you should watch alone. I got some shit to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you... I got some shit to say. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to Rod Wilder Kelly, man. I know what the fuck going on. Subscribe to Sir Spooks. Um, this is five scary videos you should watch alone, even though I'm not alone. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Like a dog with a bone. Say, no, I'm just... You just... Don't unsubscribe to me, man. My subs is going up, you know what I mean? I know I'd be saying some shit, it's, you know what I mean? It'd be pointless and shit, but just don't unsubscribe from me. Please don't, I haven't gotten no dislikes. Please don't give me no dislikes, nothing. Um, uh, yeah, man, but like I was saying, this video, man, it was cool, you know what I mean? That last video specifically, man, I just, when it, it look, it just looks too real. I feel like he, he couldn't have faked that, you know what I'm saying? Um, that video specifically, man, I, it, it couldn't have been a hoax because it just looked too real. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like the lighting is bad, but it ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? But it's good. You know what I mean? But it ain't good. It's like weird. It's like, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like for uh, me to see a shadow in his doorway and it's just, and then, and then Sir Spook zooms up on it to make it like, so I, cause at first I, I seen it, but I didn't see it, see it. Then he he go ahead and zoom up and, and specifically say where the fuck is at, bro. That shit, it just looks like a real person's shadow. It don't look like anything that could have been a hoax. It look like a real person's shadow. And like like Cuz was saying, there's no light source anywhere for. I think that was on the on the previous uh, video before this one, but. Still, though, I think it all ties in together. It's like most of that shit be happening in, in, in the darkness. But then, hold up. Did they, he's cut, last cuz, he sleep with a, with with his, hold up. He sleep with his TV on. Hold up, yeah. Let me, the uploader states that he saw something moving in the corner of his I'm going to just let this play out real quick, all right, cat, until it gets to that clip. But was probably freaked right out when he saw that it was none other than his chair rocking back and forth. I just want to hear something real quick. I just want to hear just something. Just a few seconds later, the chair stops moving completely and things go back to normal. 
a spook subreddit again with this back and forth all by itself. My fault, y'all don't know what I Just a few that. seconds later, the chair stops moving completely and things go back to normal. Okay. But even though this video ends with the chair's movements coming to a halt, it makes you wonder what caused this to happen in the first place. Was that ghost sitting in the chair and rocking it? Was this a clever setup? Or is something else at play here? Be sure to let me know your ideas in the comments below. Okay, this is where, I'm sorry, I did. I'm on some high shit. This last entry comes to us from the aforementioned Sir Spook subreddit again. Okay. With this clip being uploaded by user named Rami Code. I just want to hear this. I just want to hear this one more time. To the bone. Rami explains, quote, I just purchased a camera due to having a lot of paranormal activity in my house. Right. This video is of me sleeping with my TV on due to okay. not being able to sleep in the dark in this house. Okay, okay, hold on, let me finish it real quick. Hold on, let me hear some more. Quote. He then goes on to say that at the time this following video was recorded, he was the only person in the house. Right. So, without further delay, let's see what's been bothering him. Okay, so there was a light source. I'm talking about the previous video where there's no light source, but there's no other light source in this video either. It's just his TV. So, he fell asleep with his TV on because he needed the TV, right? And that's crazy. That is honestly crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see, you need to sleep with the TV on, and you like you record yourself sleep. There's shadows going through your doorway and shit. Um, it's it's just whether there's a light source or not, bro. It's just it's just crazy. It all it's all just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Um, sorry this, if this video was too long. Um, you're welcome if y'all enjoy these long videos of me talking through them and, you know what I mean, really giving y'all a good reaction, you know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna, um, put some shit down in the comments below, man, go ahead and, and throw them down there, man. I'll go ahead and, uh, react to them. Uh, if y'all got any requests at all, man, just go ahead and put them down there. Um, yeah, man, that's it, man. I'm out, man. I'm gonna try to hit y'all with a couple more videos, man, and you see if I get any results, man. I'm out, cap-ass theater. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man.